Hello and welcome to this episode of the MUSpartans.com Spartan Show. On this week's episode, we talk with swimming and diving athletes Angel Clemente and Michaela Gutz to preview their season. Volleyball senior Dakota Stanichuk joins us to recap the volleyball season, and senior wrestler Ben Kaufman discusses the upcoming wrestling season. Stay tuned. Angel Clemente and Michaela Getz join us in the studio. Uh, with the new head coach this year, uh, how have early meets and practices been going? Um, they've been going pretty well. Uh, we've, I mean, we're sh short on numbers, so uh, <clears throat> looking forward, we're kind of going just individually wise, but we're putting in a lot of hard work. The practices are getting really tough. Um, diving wise, we've hit a couple obstacles. You could say, uh, but we're we're getting through it. We're looking forward, so looking forward to a really good good first year. Like Angel said, definitely the practice of that challenging in this year, but overall we've been seeing good results at the meets, beating season times from last year at this point in the season this year. That's great to hear. And what are some of the goals for the respective teams for this season? So uh, with numbers that we have right now, um, coming off with the way Mike's been picking up. Uh, how things were left off last year. Um, I think one of our biggest goals will be to kind of just <clears throat> get the numbers up from the team. Uh, Times-wise, I think we're on good track to either break a couple records, but I mean, again, with the numbers that we have, it's kind of more of a looking forward to next year and trying to build a good foundation for this program. Definitely the same on the girls' team we're looking to build. And then I believe we're on track to see some personal bests and some records being broken at the end of the season. Okay. And uh, what are your favorite events throughout the season, whether it's conference or an individual meet? Um, I think my favorite event is probably conference, just because all the divers in my conference are really awesome people. It's such a fun environment, so many good athletes, it's really competitive, and it's, you know, that's the meet where everyone um, really gets to see where your hard work pays off in the whole season, and everyone leaves there, with, you know, with a good mentality, so it's, it's a really good meet for me. I'd also to say conference is my favorite meet. It's very fun, upbeat, exciting. The swimmers get walkout songs. They're usually picked. Really fun intro to events. Get to see best results. Really fast swimming. Great way to end off a season. All right. Thank you for joining us, yeah. and good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Dakota Stanichuk is with us in the studio now. Dakota, can you tell our viewers how the volleyball team did this season? Yeah, so we went three and six in the conference, but we pulled out some big wins, which was really exciting. We actually came really close to making the conference tournament, so that was exciting again. But the overall season was just a really great experience. We really grew as a team and individually, so it was good. It was a good senior year for sure. And with your senior year over, what have been some of the most memorable experiences so far? Um, there's definitely been a lot, I have to say. Going to California this year with my team was like a great experience. The whole trip was just really memorable. Um, another one was just beating Bluffton and then um, going to the conference tournament in the past. That was really cool. So. And what advice would you give younger players on the team? Um, just go to practice every day and work hard. Um, enjoy it. Um, it goes by really fast. So just work hard and have fun while you're doing it as well. So. Some great points. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you very much. Ben Kaufman now joins us. Uh, ben, can you tell our viewers what they can expect from the wrestling squad this season? Yeah, there's going to be a lot of high intensity. We have a uh, freshman class that's just bringing a lot of energy. We have a new assistant coach from Wisconsin. He's got a lot of credentials, and he's actually coached the team last year at Wheaton, and they had a lot of success. So we hope to bring him in and have that kind of build our program up this year. All right, and can you give a recap of the events that have occurred so far? Yeah, so we had preseason workouts, and this year, I'm a senior this year, so I've been through it a couple of times, and this year I'd say the intensity again was very high, and we did a lot of new things where we had cookouts and just had guys at soccer games and other events where it was more of a community this year than it has been this year. So we had preseason, then we had practice start, and we had our first uh, tournament this weekend. It was at Michigan State. It was a big D1 tournament. We had some wins and a lot of stuff to learn from. Uh, other than that, High intensity, love, things to look forward to. All right, well, thank you for joining with us, and we want to wish the wrestling team good luck this season. Thank you. This week's Spartan Show MVP of the week is junior swimmer Christian Poole. The Anderson, Indiana native won the 50 yard freestyle at Baldwin Wallace on Saturday. Congratulations, Christian.
This week's highlight segment takes us to Hanover, Indiana, where the Manchester Spartans soccer team competed in the Heartland Collegiate Athletic Conference Tournament semifinal on October 30th. Both teams were scoreless for the majority of the game, it took almost 90 minutes before Hanover's defender Ethan Miller would put the Panthers' lone goal on the board. Manchester's lone shot on goal came from sophomore Josh Gonzalez. Up until Hanover's score, senior goalkeeper Justin Meredith tallied eight saves in the 1-0 loss. The Spartans finished the season 8-10-1 overall and 6-4 in the HCAC. That's all the time we have for this episode of The Spartan Show. Stay up to date with all Manchester University scores, news, and stats by visiting muspartans.com and on Twitter at muspartans. Until next time, thank you for joining us and go Spartans!